Another month has passed with a bunch of brand new, wonderfully fun iOS and Android games, and today Game Ranks wants to talk to you about the 10 best from November 2015. Number 10, so let's talk music-based pet simulators. I know it sounds like a strange idea, but Beatnix takes your music library and creates a pet for you to care for. It's actually a pretty good idea, and can kind of create a visual representation for your taste in music. There's mini games, you can decorate its home, dress it up, and they dance too. Oh come on, like you didn't think they would dance? The reason we recommend this game is because it's frankly a darn good example of a pet simulator and manages to make it very personal by bringing your musical taste into the creation of the monster. It's easier to get more invested in the game when you feel like a part of you created the monster itself. Number 9, Starrific Endless Reactor. Now, Endless Reactor basically means puzzle game, in my opinion anyway. And the idea is that you set off chain reactions that are supposedly quite epic, which I'd like to say really quick that they do deliver on that promise. It is pretty epic, actually. It's kind of like if Space Invaders was a puzzle game, if that makes any sense at all. And like I said, it is a puzzle game, but it's kind of an action puzzle game. Truth be told, it's a really fun game, and you can waste a lot of time playing it. Number eight, Beneath the Lighthouse. Now this game is kind of a different animal. It's somewhere between a puzzle game and a platformer, in my opinion at least. Essentially, you have to rotate the level itself in order to progress through the various obstacles that stand between you and the end of the level. With really Really gorgeous graphics and incredibly engaging, unique gameplay. Trust me when I say this is a game that is not only worth your time, but you're going to get sucked into. Number seven, Warhammer 40,000 Freeblade. So the game is basically tap to destroy everything, which I have to say is something that I like. Essentially, if you've played a free-to-play social RPG, you kind of get the experience that you're going to go through. Except for with Warblade and selecting an action, you're tapping and watching everything explode. And this, my friends, is how to do it. This this game is massively fun and will absolutely engage you for a long time. Really, how can you argue with a futuristic mech game that's super simple to play but extremely fun and rewarding to continue to play? Number six, Super Dangerous Dungeons. All right, so here's something that you're going to have to hear right off, and this is going to sound like a negative, but it's not a negative. This game does not really bring anything new to the platforming genre at all. What it does do is give you a platformer that isn't just competent, it knocks the damn thing out of the park. The graphics are fun and retro in the best way. It kind of reminds me of an NES game with a little bit more color. It brings you a challenge that doesn't frustrate you and make you feel angry, but doesn't let you off easy either. It's really just a massively well-balanced, incredibly fun platforming game. Number five, if you're a fan of MOBA games and you need a mobile miniature fix to be playing these things on the go, it's hard for me to say that there's something better for you than Call of Champions. Matches last five minutes and, well, is a little bit simplified compared to something like Dota 2, it will scratch that itch. It's got great graphics and a lot of depth, especially for a mobile version of something that you would expect people to say can't be done on mobile. It can, and it's done extremely well here in Call of Champions. Number four, Dig Fender is a combination tower defense and digging game. I'm gonna just go ahead and say is a brilliant mashup of genres. I'm not sure exactly how the dev came up with this idea, but kudos to them. You basically create the path that the enemies come in on by digging for resources. There's a million tower defense games, and there's one like this. Number three, Real Boxing 2 Creed. Now, if you liked Real Boxing 1, I think you're really going to like Real Boxing 2 Creed, because really, what's more fun than something that is part of the Rocky continuity? Now, I'm not even a really big boxing fan, and anything Rocky involved is basically like catnip for even me, and I really enjoyed the Creed movie. Combining that with the real boxing gameplay style, I think was just a match made in heaven. It's super enjoyable and will definitely put you in that eye of the tiger frame of mind. And I think you'll probably start drinking glassfuls of raw eggs soon. Number two, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So hey, have you ever been like, man, I'd really like it if I could play Star Wars, but as a JRPG? Well, the social JRPG craze has enabled exactly that. And let me tell you something, this has been something I have been waiting for for a long time. Star Wars is possibly one of my favorite things out there, and JRPGs are another one of my favorite things out there. Just to be able to have that 
turn-based style, really fun combat that I love as a Star Wars game, please, I don't even have to tell you, this is what I want in the world. And finally, number one is Blendoku 2. I think from the footage we're playing, it's completely obvious what Blendoku is. You have a game board and you have to figure out how to blend between all of the colors that are being shown with the pieces that you're given in the order that you can. Now that sounds remarkably simple, and sometimes it feels remarkably simple, but it's not. It actually tests your color competence in a way that I don't think I've really had tested in a game. This is a really fun puzzle game. As soon as you play it, you're gonna be hooked. Like I said, the simple gameplay is deceptive and draws you in as this game becomes ever more challenging and involving. Have you played any of these games? Why not leave a comment and let the other people watching know what you've enjoyed about playing them. Maybe you have other recommendations you'd like to give us as well. In any case, please do so in the comments. Also, please don't forget to click the like button. It helps us more than you can probably imagine. If you're not subscribed, now is a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week, and the best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, thank you very much for watching this video, and we will see you next time here on Game Ranks.